today's demonstration is going to be about a simple SharePoint Visual Web part using Visual Studio. Version used is SharePoint 2013. A quick overview of the steps. First step, you create the new SharePoint project from Visual Studio. Then select the Visual Web part. Third step, you change the default names like the feature name or the user controls name. Fourth step, you modify the code behind and the design for the user control. In this example, we shall add a simple label and a simple button. On clicking of the button, the site title will be displayed. Fifth step is to write the actual code for the logic, business logic you want to do. As a last step, you deploy and you test the code. You add the web part to any SharePoint site and then you test the code. Let's go to the actual demo now. Open Visual Studio 2012. Click New Project. Under Visual C Sharp. Click Office or SharePoint. And select SharePoint 2013 Visual Web Part. Change the name of the project. Click OK. Choose the site you want to do the testing and choose Deploy as Site Farm and click Finish. Notice that the web Visual Web Parts is created. Let's go and change the default names. Right click and select rename. Modify the feature elements file also. Modify the web part file also. You now go to the user control and click the design view. From the toolbox, let's add a label and a button. Go to the source split view and change the default names. Now double click the button 
at the SharePoint directive This is a simple two line code which gets the current site and displays the title. Now build the solution. Next step, deploy. Ensure you replace all the visual web part one with your custom name. Okay, the deploy has succeeded. Let's go and test it in a page now. Create a new web part page to test your code. Click insert, click web part, go to custom, then select display and click add. In the button, the word contour so is displayed. Let's make a change to the code to change the name of button. Click to show web title. And deploy the code again. Now if you see the web button name is changed, let's test it again. The name of the site is displayed. The contours is the name of the page. So here is a quick overview of all the steps we did. We first created a new SharePoint project and then selected the visual web part. Then we changed all the default names according to your custom requirement. Then you modify the user control code, that is the ACX file, and then you add the code behind according to your business logic. Then you build and deploy and test the code. Thank you.